Chamonix, welcome to Chamonix, the current Empress of Mont Blanc. How does it feel? Oh, we're so excited to be back here. It's such a beautiful place and uh, the atmosphere is just electric with trail running. Um, well, Courtney, you know, half of the trail running world is holding its breath, saying, no, she won't do it. No, she won't. How could anybody win the thread? I mean, the triple crown and set three new records in a year. Uh, is it really feasible? My hope is to finish the race, so I will be uh, giving it everything I have to get back to Chamonix on Saturday. Uh, or, as uh, Mr. Winston Churchill said, talk quietly and carry a big stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, part of, uh, of your legend, let's say, is your attitude within running. Um, how do you hold it with, so, with saying it in Gran Canaria, same as in um, Western or Hard Rock? How do you keep on smiling when it hurts? I feel really lucky to be doing this sport and getting to sign up for these big races and big challenges. So um, it's easy to keep it in perspective when you're out there moving across beautiful terrain doing something you love. Once upon a time, I was the first Spaniard to travel and race 100 miles in Colorado and I found a motto that I think was quite relevant. They claim, dig deep, you're stronger than you think you are. Do you think it relates to you? Absolutely, I think that's a perfect <laughs> during the hard <laughs> moments um, and that's where our brains come in. It's a physical sport, but it's also very much mental getting to those finish lines and we can all do more than we think. And for fans, beginner ultra runners, or pack ultra runners like myself, um, we would love to learn from you. Now, what tips uh, would you be able to, an example, it's beautiful to see you move your uh, lucky poles <laughs> at all times but you choose to carry the ones with the uh, very close um, handles. You know, uh, why that one? Does it move easier? Does it better transmit? Um, did you try other solutions? I love those poles. Okay, from the poles to the shoes. Now, uh, we just saw our friend Francois launching his new S-Lab Ultra FDH trademark, but I've noticed that uh, you've been running anything they throw at you with S-Lab Genesis, which I first learned of with uh, Ryan Sanders did the 1100 kilometer traverse in uh, Lesotho. Um, what is special about that suit that fits you so much? Because you took them to Gran Canaria, to Western States, to Hard Rock, very different courses. Yeah, I've just been loving that shoe this year. Um, it feels very stable for my foot. It feels like it gets great grip and traction on different surfaces. And um, like for a hundred miles or however many hours I spend in it, my feet feel pretty happy. So when <laughs> I find the thing that's working, I like to stick with it. All right. Now for somebody living in Colorado, used to Leadville, um, of course, coming to the Alps and finding cold weather is not such a bad news. However, uh, you've noticed that there was snow for the MCC. Uh, we had a very cold night for the guys at TDS. Have you taken any particular precaution in terms of your, um, let's say, winter gear? Would you consider a different jacket? Any uh, thermal? Any suggestion? For this race, the required gear list really gets you covered in all areas. So I will be uh, carrying all of that and more if needed if it does look like it's going to be chilly out there i think taking care of ourselves in these hard efforts is important and that part of taking care of ourselves is dressing for the weather so if it's snowing or raining or hot and sunny any of that is fine um, we just adapt our outfits mm -hmm. okay. now last but not least well we're as you know soccer is arguably the most popular sport in spain and believe it or not, we beat the United States and we became world champions this year. Um, in some aspects, it's the same as becoming a role model for youngsters, particular female youngsters. How does it feel? What would you tell a young girl that is looking up to you to consider getting out and running on the trails? Um, what do you think she would find 
if she were to follow on your footsteps? What's so special about this crazy thing of running out in the mountains? Well, congratulations on your soccer win. That was very <laughs> cool to watch. Um, I think trail running is the best. You are out there moving with your feet in nature, exploring new places, um, getting to be with your thoughts or with friends mm -hmm. or with silence. And uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible what our bodies can do. So I say go for it and see what happens. Well, let me tell you, it's also pretty incredible to see what your body and mind may do. And we're very much looking forward to enjoy the Cornelia Walter show at Chamonix again. Thank you.